Yeah, you know, Kenya is, hope you're all safe and well out there and not going too stir crazy from the lockdown. I uh, thought I'd show you a couple of different ways to do a figure eight releasable. I'm not going to go through the whole why we do it and all that sort of thing I've done in the last couple of videos, so just a couple of different ways to tie it. So, got my anchor here, end of the rope, so my abseil end goes through. Estimate how much I need. Take standard figure eight. Now I'm going to load that just as I would as though I was abseiling on it. And that's my figure eight block in releasable mode. Now the first method to, to tie it I'm going to show you is one that uh, Mark Norman showed me. Uh, all I'm going to do is take the brake strand, two wraps around the throat, back through and over, and then as a safety backup. Canyon draw. Back up to the anchor. Get that around the other way so you can see what's going on. So now, when I abseil, nice and safe, if I jump on the wrong strand, my canyon draw is going to catch me. And that's pretty much it. Now, when I want to release this one, I need to take the drawer out of the road. Make sure I've got control of the brake strand. All I need to do is flip this up over there, pull it out, and then it just basically unravels itself, and I'm in descent mode. So nice and quick and easy. Seems to be a lot less chance that this getting caught up and not being able to release like some other methods. Uh, some other methods, if you thread it wrong, or the eight twists or pushes up against the rocks, really hard to release it. This one, Nice and simple, just flip that over, give the brakes down to pull, and you're in descent mode. Okay, so the other method I want to show you is the EMO, which is the 8 mil overhand. I only just come across this the other day, the guys were talking about on the on the forum, it sparked my interest, done a bit of research, got a bit of advice, done a bit of practicing. As with all these things though, make sure you go out and get some instructions from someone that knows what they're doing so they can actually check what you're doing in person before you go and use it. But just to give you an idea of what it is and, and how it works, um, it's, it starts pretty much the same. So you just Thread the eight into descent mode. Now with this one, I can put my safety drawer on now. And when I want to lock it off, I'm going to tie a mule in the big eight. So and take this, put a little twist so the tail is going underneath the tension. Then. Poke that through, my eight, then another bite up through that, and just get it nice and tight. And now that's pretty much locked, but obviously it's going to fall out. So I can even just, I can just hold that. But if I was going to do that, I could not even bother putting the mule in. Uh, I could lock it off with an overhand. That'll let me go hands free. And the other thing I could do if I wanted to, you know, I can clip this back 
up in my anchor. And that'll just stop that pulling through. And then I can go hands free. To release it then, all I need to do is pull that out of the vena, pull through, and I'm in descent mode without having to worry about taking my safety vena off. So it's One more method I want to cover today is the Euro 8. Now this involves poking a bite of the rope through the small end of your 8. Now this is a 9mm rope. This 8's got a really small hole in it, so it's really difficult to do it with this 8. So you really want a figure 8 with a slightly larger inside diameter on the small hole. Uh, starts the same as always, just thread it as though you're abseiling on it. And with this one, I'm going to put my safety draw on the large hole of the 8. Just get that off the back there so it's out of the road. Now with my brake strand, all I want to do is come up and poke a bite through the small hole. Now take another bite and poke through that bite and pull it tight. Another bite through that and you just put in a little chain in it. Three or four chains is heaps. And then if I want to lock that off, bend it through that and just around the brake strand. And now that's not going to go anywhere. You're not even putting any tension on these at all to release it. Um, burn it off, pull that out and you're in descent mode. There you go, a couple of different ways to tie a figure eight block to rig a releasable system. As I said in the first video I showed about the figure eight block, there's a whole bunch of ways to do the lock. Um, some of those work better than others in certain situations. The more ways you know how to do it um, and the idiosyncrasies about it, the better off you're going to be because you'll be able to adapt your technique based on the situation and that's what you want to be able to do. Um, big thanks to the guys that gave me some advice on the EMO. As I said, brand new to it. First time I'd seen it the other day on the forum. Seems like a good thing, but as I said earlier, make sure you go out and get some face-to-face -face instructions. So someone that, that knows what they're doing is actually checking you're not making sure you're doing it correctly. Um, what else can I say? Um, been a really terrible season as far as Kenyan goes with fires and floods and now this virus. Hopefully you guys are staying sane, practicing your knots, practicing your rigging, Practice yourself uh, rescue techniques and keep your skills up there basically. Uh, when it all blows over, hope it catches out there and stay safe.